in him kitu moja bwana ameniambia kuna kitu kiko ndani ya wakristo when you feel a new sense you are never complete ikifika pesa haujakanyanga what god showed you you are married but in marriage not complete ikifika imani unakuta imani yako hata uombe namna gani there's an issue somewhere na usiku wa leo tutataka kuwatagazia kwa nguvu za Mungu nguvu za Mungu chochote shetani ametumia kuzuia usikie kwamba you are complete kinaondoka leo and we are commanding him to leave you amen, amen. hallelujah tutataka Mungu at, we want to become what god has said about us you know when god calls you Mungu anapokuita hukufanya usikie kwamba kwake you are complete for instance if you check our brother like now brother mr joshua Mungu anapoita joshua let's see the scripture you know Mungu anapomuita na kumuangalisha anamwambia hivyo gentleman i've called you na hivi ndivyo nataka ujisikie look at the scripture uh, that is joshua chapter 1 Hey, nimeenda kubukubu wewe Joshua 1 you see nisalimieni 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 habari yenu unajua most of us sasa moro kimuuliza atasema yeye ni mtoto wa baba yake na hakika mkietembea na yeye utaona tabia ya mtoto wa baba. <laughs> Lakini mwaura katika mambo ya pesa na akili, wewe si mtoto wa baba. You should be ta- completely talented. Watakiwa sasa uwe na gari ya kubeba baba. Wewe ni mtoto wa baba, si mtoto wa baba abaye haja kamilika ni mtoto wa baba that about uhusiano wako na baba hallelujah praise god you see now let me example one one time nilipigia baba yangu mkubwa simu tulikuwa na dawali nikamwambia baba ne koroka korashio akamwambia gatimo sisi tuliri wewe ndiye uko. Nikauliza hai. Yaani mimi eh eh wewe ndio tahesabu hiyo muate halika kwa hata ivege kama ni wakaba gashia ndio wewe ndio tahesabu na uitishe na upewe na mahali utapereka ni watajua haukuji hapana eh eh wewe ndiye uko ah oh, i dis- and because my dad ali ameanga na my mom nikaanza kusikia i'm complete na zaongoza familia ya dongo baba yangu ni dongo and then another time my, i have my cousin in the church here akamwambia bishop nasikia taka kuleta dawari akasema ati amechunguza unjoje bado ni kubwa akagudua the person atakuwa kuletea ati ni mimi he kawashe jite komenya do you know wa, siku hizi watu kama akina jeli na waona hapa na kina na kina wengine there's there's people are not changing to be mature tuko na gap kubwa sana katikati ya wazazi wetu na sisi even when you are you are dad anaka ako na miaka kama 90 kwa kwa wewe you are still behaving like a dependent son kuna wakati mtu anakuwa mtoto anayetegemea baba kuna wakati ambapo mtu anabadilika kuwa mtoto anayetegemewa na baba 
it should change. Sasa brother Gedaiga, I know your dad. Sasa, now you should be a son whereby your dad is depending on you. Now, are, uh, sasa, I'm going to natural. Natural out. Natural? Yes. Pastor Kriji. Sasa, you should be a son Bishop Kamutu is depending on. Nataka mbadirishke. Because unakuto kuna meka forte. You are a son depending on your dad. But now change. Watch a dad. Our a dad depending on you as a son. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Who you, who you, who you, who you, who you, ba, 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 mekuza. Nataka kuona this Christmas ukimplekea pesa. Nataka kuona this Christmas Amen. Ukimplekea plan approved kama nakaa nyandarwa approved na kajo ya nyandarwa. Mwambie dad nataka kujaga pale. Dad nataka kukupomoa hii nyumba ile kujaga mzima nzuri. Dad nataka kuanzia leo ulale hivi. Hey, ni mogo chajia. Halo. Bwana asifiwe. Sidio ba Lebre Monique. Sasa ukienda kwa Mzee Jacob, your son he is depending on. Kabisa? Ili wazazi walio tuzaa wazizeeke na pressure. Lakini wazeeke na amani. Hata magojo mengine walipata because of pressure wakitusomesha waki strain Muzazi ya nisubuka sana Kauza maprot Some of you Dio ufanya digli Baba yako Adiuza protibili Abazo siku You know I remember one, one, one sister Adiuza Prime property Dio son asome Arafu son Akawa mulevi Now there's an issue here Adifikiria Kwa mana u son Adikuwa ufanya digli ya maana atajiliwa au aze biashara wakizeeka awe na mali ambao inaonyesha wazazi kwamba although muliuza plot B very prime hallelujah your investment in my life is pain sasa unakuta huyu kijana even now hana fair na kula degree anaoa wa mama wasichana wakitoka and then hello praise god ame maliza you know and that person to get the baby a bishop you see this area i had the most prime plot size na toka ama 6 million or 8 million moja sasa na hesabu kama 16 million hello praise god asama niko na nyumba pali fulani nikauza hizo nyumba sasa zina zinatoka kama 20 million Sasa mzazi ya nazeeka. Nyumba hiyo hana. Hiyo plot hana. Wenye kusomeshwa na wenye kupata malezi hawaleti anything. Those parents are dying wakijuta. They have a complicated feeling. Anasema, it's okay ni mtoto wangu. Lakini sasa. Na siwezi ishi maisha ainabili. This is the life I'm living. Huu ni mtoto anavuta banki. Huu ni mtoto amerukwa na akiri. Huu ni mtoto amekaa kwa nyumba amendaganywa na wanaume watatu. Muzaza sija kwamba mimi sikuwa nataka hivi na sikuwa nataka kuzeeka hivi and yet huu muzazi ya wezi rudi awe kijana awe tena azaye tena jipake tena. I'm commanding you now. Nyinyi mulio wa ikanisa. Nina waamuru kwa guvu za buwana. Muende sasa mukaponya wazazi. Go and heal those people now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Naona baba yako mainama hivi. Ana ugojo wa moyo. Sometimes ukiangalia. 
kuna wakati kulikuwa na shida na uhaba wa pesa walisubuana na mama yako sana na wewe pia ukahusika from today hayo mambo imepita masubufu na nini go this christmas tell your mom mom before you die before you grow older i would like you to live well aweza kuwa kuna pressure mwambie mom hii itaisha in just Christ name hallelujah mununulia supplements mwambie mom hii hiyo miguu na nini na nini you know i'm huwa na fry sana sana the other day tulikuwa tunasaidia one of our pastors and i remember because tumefanya kazi na yeye muda mrefu ah nikasikia no there's something that should be done i know yes christo nikabia family i want to do something i want to take kadi manji ni mzazi hapa anapeka kwa kiabu hospital anambia nataka kupeleka baba yenu akakani hospital si baba yangu ni baba yao nataka akaguliwe na the best neurologist in Kenya and I'll pay <sighs> hello na nikabuko you know how i friends i feel so mimi husikia vibaya nikiona mtu mzee uso sura yake akiumia naomba tu ikiwezekana wazazi wazeeke tu na Mungu awachukue na amani baada ya kulia na kuumia hivyo hello praise god hallelujah and thank god alipima kwa bishop you know what happened that the rogis charges out of money akabona na sekretari wake ndio eh daktari usitisha hao iko bishop alipiga simu akasema atalipa daktari sema if it is bishop muambia sindilipe hiyo pesa apatie mzee wa kule na kunyoma sikulipishwa na sisi tunajuana sana praise the lord but the the way to ripata tuliokoa uhai wa mtu I remember one time niliambiwa bishop wetu mmoja amegocheka kwamba bishop wa miaka 8 analia kama mtoto. Anapelekwa nje na watoto, anawekwa ndani. Nikaambia kina baba Gadhua nimewaamuru aende chukuliwe. Hallelujah. And we spent 1 million, 1.2 million lakini maisha yake sasa inaendelea vizuri. Nikiona hapa God this is good. I want to tell you the truth. Wale mko na wazazi. Mukisikia tu Mungu anasema muwe milionea is because part of it ni kwamba tutajegea Mungu madhabahu na tutaruhusu maisha yetu yawe baraka. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Nataka tupokee kibali tuwe complete in a way that tutaondoa aibu. Some of the children now you know the other day I was planning nianze muradi wa pads sisi wasichana mnajua nyinyi wa mama you see hata sababu uchumi umeharibika mtoto anaitisha hiyo vitu kwa maana anahitaji kila mwezi mzazi hana pesa mwambia sasa ni unga nitanunua au ni hizo vitu one girl said mzazi alimwambia end the angel of decide you know what, what, what she meant go out borrow from men borrow In other words atumiwe ni kama aweka hapa nikasema no no it should not happen to chaos in our church Muzazi ule akata shida we are parents in the church we can remove every shame in our church in Jesus name So men we are complete in him Hallelujah You see when God calls you when God calls you anakuweka katika maisha ambao ni kama we ni supplier you don't beg let's see something wakati Mungu Musa alikufa when you see how God called Joshua Bible nasema mtumishi wangu Musa ameaga amekufa and God says 
anamwambia Joshua let's look at the scripture that is Joshua chapter 1 anamwambia hivi haya listen carefully nasema hivi my servant is dead therefore arise semeni arise why does god say arise whenever he wants to use you na kwa nini it's my responsibility to arise ni nani mwenye anaamka hapa anainuka ni mungu anamuinua au ni anainuka now nisalimieni nataka kuambia kitu kitu hapa before you tell god akuinue wewe mwenyewe arise God cannot raise a person ambaye hauna hii experience ya arising. Are you understanding now? Tuseme mwaoro melala the whole day. Mungu atakuamsha. It's your responsibility to wake up early. It's your responsibility kupiga magoti uombe Mungu akunenee. It's your responsibility kukaa kama mtu abaye ako tayari kuinuliwa nisalimiani tena ni jukumu langu kukaa kama mtu abaye mikono yake iko tayari kutumwa na Mungu responsibility kutembea kama mtu abaye ako tayari kuonyeshwa God show me unataka nifungue biashara wapi Jehovah ni wapi umeamuru baraka yangu Mungu wangu ni wapi mfukwa mlango you see is who is moving is me who is, who has the open eyes is me who is asking is me? God wants you to be a position and it will arise. You said, Can you tell something? Check any brother or any sister or whatever and buy an andamwa na tabu. Hey, ma'am. Ni yonu kufaya kazi pari na engineer? Iyo kazi huke juwa kwa kwa nyumba. Si ulijua wakati ulijeda hapo kawana kuna mjengo. Na wakona kuna mshirika wetu wabawa ni engineer kama hugeamuka hugepata ah nisalimieni i know why yes so i know why yes so arise semeni arise the first command you receive for the mother of god is arise before god start akwambie nitakutumia nitakutumia tembea you must arise now what constitutes arising mtu ambaye anaamka tunasema mtu ako na nafsi mtu ako na roho mtu ako uko na akiri uko na mwili na uko na roho si ni kweli those three things should arise another thing should arise in you na yale maarifa uko naye ni ile akili uko naye ni ile talent uko naye hallelujah kile unajua katika Mungu inuka nacho what you already know arise with that thing. What you already know inuka na hiyo. Hallelujah. Basa dirango. Kama unajua kutembea ukiambia watu waokoke inuka na hiyo. Kama unajua kufunga siku tatu ndio unajua inuka na hiyo. Walikuwa sana my brother. Hallelujah. Kama unajua brother kushika hii mic brother bila kukoma uongoze sifa hiyo timiza kwanza kama unajua kufika ibada mapema na kupanga viti na kupanga bulletin na nini na kuintercede for bishop na wengine wahubiri do that first what you already have and what you already know arise with it amen that's one on Musa Mungu alipomuita eh what happened? God did not tell Moses to throw away the rod. Alinuka na ifimbo yake. Alinuka na kile alikuwa nacho kwa mkono. Alinuka na kile alikuwa anajua. By the way, Moses dio awe na ujuzi na a, Mungu amtumie sana. Mjue huyu jamaa alikuwa amesoma elimu karibu yote iliyokuwa dunia that time because he was a, he was a prince na alikaa kwa farao, kwa farao dio Moses atumiwe kuandika Leviticus na Numbers alikuwa anajua kuandika na alikuwa anajua anajua geography history geology M Moses kama kungekuwa ni siku hizi 
agekuata captain wa ndege okay right now britain how monastery prince they know a lot of things okay mpate kama emirates anaendesha mpe buduki anapiga mwigesa kwa anywhere prince are trained in all areas and moses was a prince before atroke and god knew this huyu mtu nimemsomesha na elimu yake itatumika kuadika yale mambo ambao ni ya israeli Amen. Moses could organize an army. Moses could organize the government ya Israel. Alikuwa amesoma. Haya, the truth is, dio Mungu amtumie kuokoza Israeli. Kila alikuwa anajua, amesoma. Hakikuachwa nyuma. Arise with what you have. Amen. Kama wewe ni food wa bao, inuka na hiyo food wako. God do not leave behind your profession. God will not leave behind masomo uliyosoma hata kama sadiet. God will not leave behind kido najua. Arise. Mtu akiinuka anainuka akiwa complete. May the Lord help us now. May the Lord help us now. Now, when you arise, the second thing you well, the second thing God does is to give you orders that you must obey. Kama tutakuwa complete lazima kila mtu ainuke. Usilale. Na usiwe mtu wa akili yako miachilia. By the way, nisalimie niona kama Mungu. Najua sasa hizi na hubini saa ile mnaraka sana. Let me say something. If you train your mind to be weak. If you train your mind kulala sana. If you train your mind to be lazy utakuwa na Mungu atakuwa na shida na wewe kwa sababu amen kama nimejizoeza kulala nimejizoeza kuwa lazy nimejizoeza kutoka haraka even if god want to use me for great things nitakuwa mziko kwake can you deal with your laziness deal with your sleep mind Deal with sometimes hata mdomo wako kuna mambo kwa maana utainuka hata na mdomo utainuka hata na moyo utainuka hata na mikono utainuka na tabia utainuka na mawazo you need to deal with all those things arise very well from there now god give you orders god tell mungu anamwambia mose mose uh, joshua joshua mm. go over this jordan now if you change the scripture bible says hivi Uh, let me just check that first. Asema Joshua now vuka. Go. Where? Vuka na hao watu. Vuka hii Jordan. Vuka. Now, whenever God atakuamuru arise because Mungu hana munda wako wa kupoteza. By the way, mnaniona? Mtu akiwa ya like, not, that first hapa tutaona kisha kubwa sana. Do not tutakuwa tunaruka mwaka. Let me say something. Do you know to takua? Let me let me say this. Namu ni agaria vizuri. Kuruka mwaka ni nini? Namu takuja mcha kwa wingi. Tutaeka vitu mpaka huko. In fact, we can allow you even to sit here. Na wengine mkae huko all over. Like kuruka mwaka ni nini? Let me give you a definition kuruka, kuruka mwaka. Kuruka mwaka ni kuzeeka. Kama ulikuwa na miaka 40, sasa uko na 41. Ni mwaka umeruka au ni kusogo umesoka towards Kama ulikuwa umebakisha miaka 20 ukufe inabaki 19. Are you understanding? Kuvu, ku, kuruka mwaka ni miaka yako ya kuishi inapunguka na ni kuzeeka na zeeka baba kakinya in fact they are saying kuna miaka ikifika reality ya laana ya kifo katika mwili wa mtu inaanza kazi that's on apata ukienda america chemist Eh? zinakuwa kama naivas supermarket huku mbele ni supplements omega 3 omega what omega because wanaamini 
Jeff, umefikisha miaka kunywa supplements. Hiyo miguu ndio hubiri sana kunywa calcium. They say every day baba kadhua now you are losing hata kama umeketi you are losing minerals. Ukweli wa kwamba umeanza safari ya kufika kaburini. Si kufika kutwe. Kutremuka. These days pirates are, are becoming very very good. Ndege kama inakuja Jomo Kenyatta Airport inaanza kuteremkia na ifasha huku. Bali. Komana iko juu maybe 40,000 feet. Na I think they are being trained in a funny way kwamba akianza kuteremka inaenda kwa Bereni pilots wako ikiteremka afanye hivi. Siku hizo naenda pole pole. Unless you are screen where's jua. Na naanza kuteremkia wapi? Bali sana. Wapedwa kwa maana utazeeka pole pole Mungu anaanza decide kuteremka kwako bali Unaona vile ndio mwangi hapa una nywele you have started your descent Na sisi hapa tukinyonoa sisi sisi wengine imepaki tu hapa nyuma Ikaika imeanza but there's so more than these days that we how are hivi unaenda pole pole Badra ya miguu ichoke haraka unasikia una ukis bado ulikuwa kiipa nyepo 10 usikii kitu sasa unaipa tatu unaitisha maji Halo unasikia una, una tremka pole po habari yenu kando si namna hiyo ndugu yangu ukiwa jili za school ulikuwa na ruka ruka siku hizi kuruka ruka hata hata na nilikuwa nasema kwa maana wazee siku ya sadaka mnakaa mbele na mmeanza ku descend mnashindwa kurukia Yesu msiharibu sura ya madhabahu rukia Yesu rukia nda nda aterukia Yesu rukia tata kona baba franco ukiwa kwa hewa na upewe na upewe keyboard ainuliwa Yesu it's true unakuta hapo kuweka hii rika kina baba kunya uweka kama 20 hapa Eh? Kusema amen ni gumu. Haleluya. Mm. ya Yesu. Mm. Hello praise God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hata ndege ikianza kutremkia na ifasha inakuja jomo Kenyatta. You must pick we. Lazima hiyo ndege inenea ambapo kwa hapa haushuki my mahiyo. Even if to me as a kuseeka, we must tell the devil, praise the Lord, hatushuki sasa tunashuka the right airport. In Jesus' name. So what is happening now? Watu wameanza, because Joshua na abu hapa, Joshua now, I want to give you an assignment. Go! Vuka Jordan now watu. Because I am giving them something. Now wapa nini? Ninawapa ichi nilio apia baba sao Na anapa Now Kitu kigine chamana sana Is God Now Kine kinafanya mutu azizeke haraka Is the vision God has put in you Na vile mungu wa mesema You must accomplish it Accomplish it Now Huyo anapa kutoka jangwani Kwa mpaka Lebanon. Kwa mpaka Medina Sea. Wewe, Joshua. You must make sure. Kila mtu, kila mtu hapa, ameridhi. God gives you not the extent. Yeah. Sometimes, instead of God giving you the extent of ears, He gives you the extent of the vision. Did you hear this? Hallelujah. Anakuambia wewe. Kitabo. Ufanya anything else Utafungua kanisa ishirini Kama utaka kwa maminifu No naonyesho So you don't measure your age With the ears We measure our age with the vision We don't Hatupimi kuishi kwetu Na vita tunazo pitia Tunapima kuisha kwetu, kuishi kwetu 
na ukweli wa kwamba we must accomplish what God said in Jesus name mtu atakwambia nitakuua ne Mungu anasema hautakufa kabla haujatimiza hayo mambo 20 have a vision that has provision and has God in it and therefore in the name of Jesus maisha yangu is being determined by the vision in just Christ's name jambo lingine is obeying the holy spirit in the vision that's why mnaona wakati Joshua alianza kuingia Canaan Ukiangalia utaona kwamba the first place Joshua alipewa orders. Akamwambia wewe jamaa, aha, hivi divyo utaangusha Jericho. You know the story? Ile kuzuka mara mara saba. You know the formula about haikuwa inaonekana kama ni ya, ni ya military. Zuguka siku ya saba mzuke hivi na mpea trumpeti. That's okay. You see now, waliomaliza wakaenda kunyakua kamujikadoka na if you read Joshua chapter 7 mji mdogo naitwa Ai ule mji wa Ai you know nataka usikize watu jeshi iliambia Joshua Ai is a small city so we don't need to pray we don't need direction just allow us to go hii ni kidogo hii ni kidogo the moment katika maono yako utazoea Mungu kwa sababu ya hatua. Ni kama vile tunataka crusade. Tukienda crusade to be siku ya kwanza, watu waokoka zaidi ya mia mbili Utapata mnasema haleluya, tumenyakuwa muji siku ya pili ya muombi. Kuna vile mtu huzoea Mungu kwa sababu umezoea hatua kadhaa. Nimezoea kuamuka nikiwa salama. Sio lazima niombe sana. Niko na mshahara wa elfu moja Nimeajiriwa na company iliyo na pesa. So the features around you you don't pray a lot. Hello? There are times mtu anazoea maisha fulani kwa sababu ya vile mambo imekaa. Bwana tusaidie nisalimeni tena kitabu kitabu mulale Make sure uniona kama unioni kama unioni kitabu ni kuambia ufungue macho make sure umeniambia ni maono gani hao uliona kwa, kwa maana ulikuwa umefuga macho ulifugua macho gani ingine kama ulifugua ya moyo tuambie kile umeona kwa mara naweza fanya hivyo nitakustua au ni kuambia kama mzee mmoja kadisa ndingira raglican huu mzee alikuwa amezoea unaitwa nakaa kapere pale akiketi na mzee mmoja akamwambia we mawe ndego shabidia takwa indisha tigia pale ni pili ya watu sasa one time bishop wao akawa ametembea bishop alisop akasimama kuhubili huyu mzee aliyosema atamwaibisha kaambia wewe we amka omba amka omba sasa mjaribuka alifika ibada imeisha aliomba maombi ya kufuga ibada kaupa kaupa kama tuseme neema neema na kaambia sasa mkienda wiki muone mewe na amani sasa na dio bishop akaba mzee twashukuru lakini hiyo maombi si ya saa hii mwenye alimwambia aombe alikuwa amwambia hii tabia kwa hala hivi maana ni, ni, ni takustua pere ya watu akamwambia sasa unaona wewe sasa unaona baada ya kuombea bishop ahubiri ulifuga na maombi wewe na adabu <laughs> tufanyie mtu hapa sasa na hivyo Tukua kesha siku moja tukua Bible College kuna pasta mmoja wa PAG alikuwa uh, anaitwa Okelo. Sasa kesha alikuwa inaisha. 
Kabla sasa tukataka pasta moja tuombese tukabia okero ile kaamuka na kwambia ile mobi okero aliomba ni kitu hizielewa aliharibu ili bila alipomaliza turudie kusafisha yale ya kwanza alichakanya hii mambo ya kulala hapa muacha waweza kuwa na roho ikine naza waweza kuwa wewe ni okero leo hello praise god haya nikwambia kitu Umewa na watu kanisani wameoana doa ikawa nzuri sana na walipokuwa wakianza doa na hapa pamoja wakazoea wakaasium the moment wali assume mambo ndio doa ilaribika hata wakati bwana sema kwamba kuna magugu ilipadwa katikati ya ngano bible says ilipadwa wakati gani wakati mwenye shaba alilala nani alipanda ni adui na alipoamka adui alipata in a way kwamba mwenye kwamba mwenye shaba apende asipende itabidi miaka iliyosalia ajizoeze kukaa na gano na magugu Satan akitaka tu apate nafasi ukilala tu kimaisha na kiroho afanyie family yako kitu family kitu na wale mko hapa mnajua some family siko hivyo ufanyiwe tu kitu ambao miaka ijayo itabidi uvumilie kwa maana uwezi Hello bwana praise the lord Now that's what you're saying kama wakati wakati Joshua alizoea eh na alipozoea muji wa ai watu walipoenda waka, watu wakizoea wanavuja hata sheria zile ambazo Mungu amepeana watu huona kama Mungu ameongea jambo la ujinga ameongea jambo ambalo she you know unajaribu ni kama Samson Samson alipokuwa akifanya mapenzi na Delila alikuwa ni kama anajaribiwa na, na upako anagauza mwanamke alikuwa anamka sema mmm, ah, nasikia niko na nguvu kuna wadogo kwa kuna wadogo nakuta ameipa sadaka akinena kaoka kwa haleluya nasikia kama ni kama roho yako tu Hello. Kuna wengine akifanya usharati. As long as hajulikani. Anaona ni kama ameokoka. Katika maono Mungu amekupa. Never never zoea. Any day nataka uweke moto. Hata kama ni fellowship ya bandi. Hata kama ni morning glory. Hata kama ni maobi ya kuoba na watoto wa Sunday school. Usizoee hatua za maono any time utazoea hatua moja ya maono hapo ndipo kutaanza kuwa na shida in your vision Bwana akisema tuamini tununue gari Praise the Lord unakuwa mwepesi wa kuamini because kile ambacho nataka kuambia when God gives you order sasa kile kinatakikia na sasa unajua Mungu atanitumia ni ku make sure kwamba you obey the orders for that vision na any step in the vision never adulterate it no usijaribu kuzoea nasema usijaribu kuzoea kama Mungu alikuambia every morning uo kioba 2 hours over the 2 hours au zidishe kama wewe unaenda kanisani morning glory saa kumi au saa kumi na nusu Usizoe in a way that itafika mahali ukose kwenda. Mwili huzoea na shetani hutumia tamaa za mwili na uzito na kuchoka lakini lazimisha mwili. Naye Mungu atakubariki. Kama hiyo ni ukweli sema amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now Bible inasema you are complete kitabu cha Colossians chapter 2. Let's see this scripture. Bible says kitabu cha Akrosai katika agano jipya pale pale mwisho Akrosai chapter 2. Bible sema kwamba nanyi mumetimilika katika yeye aliye kichwa cha enzi yote na mamlaka. And you are complete in him who is head of all principalities and power. Ah, hear this. Bible inaposema umekamilika katika yeye inaongeza kitu 
kingine baada ya kusema nimekamilika katika yeye inaongeza hii jina umekamilika katika yeye aliye kichwa cha enzi na nguvu zote haleluya you know one time near the state house it's not a big big office it's a, but state house Unaona huu huyu ni waziri wa mashaba. Na hakuna mwingine Kenya, uende Mandera, uende Maridi ni huyu. Unaona huu ni president wakati wa kulikuwa uhuru. Huyu ndio rais hata wa kwako. Hata kwa choo kwa kwa choo yako bathroom wapi uende wapi ni huyu. Na ni yeye Ukuliza mtu wakiwa kosa na ndio wako ni huyu. Hello praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Na kutukumucha ambacho you notice ukienda pahali makao makuu ya nguvu. Ni kwamba Hello praise God. Hakuna mambo, hakuna maswali mengi. Kile kiko ni majibu mengi. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Habari yenu. Wakati unakaribia makao makuu ya nguvu na mahali mfalme anakaa. Kile kiko hapo ni majibu mengi sio maswali mengi. The king haulizi jia. The king hello praise God. Kuna wakati mmoja kulikuwa na kerere Kenya. Maswali siasa siasa. Somebody said Kibaka Kibaka alikuwa president. Na katiba ilikuwa inasema nguvu yote ya Kenya iko na president Kibaki. Wakasema Kibaki siongee. Ukiongea hakuna mwingine ataongea. Katiba ya zamani Ongea. Hello praise God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unasikia huu ni koi anaongea hii. Unasikia huu ni nani anaongea hii mengine. Unasikia huu mwingine anaongea whatever anaongea lakini president akija sema nimeamuru hivi. Sasa sheria na nguvu zimeongea. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe sana. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe sana kimoja ta kuambia ni hiki kile kinafanya tuwe complete ni mahali Yesu ameketi bible says he is above all principalities and powers tonight i want to teach you how to be complete in jesus name in just name pastor the more unamkaribia Yesu na nguvu zake the more hakuna maswali mengi ni majibu utapata that's why jesus in himself anasema hallelujah i am the way the truth and the life anajijua yesu he is the head so when he is the head of all principality and power sema so again he is the head of all principality and power sema yeye die kichwa cha enzi yote na mamlaka wakati umefika mapepo ijue nimefika miguuni mwake huyu wakati umefika gome za kangemi za bahati dadora miji yote ijue this is a friend a very close friend of him who is the head of all principality and power hey hey habari yenu wapendwa wakati umefika usimame katikati ya muji wachawi maadui wajue na huyu katika yeye ambaye is above all principality and power huyu ndani ya huyu huyu ndani ya ule huyu ndio anakaa in him ha, hakuna
hakuna nguvu ambao sina in him sauti yangu ya kumiliki iko in him unabi na pata katika yeye haleluya katika yeye nina jina linalopita majina yote katika yeye nina mamlaka ambao nikianena anywhere all powers should obey and abide oh jesus i thank you because sikupotea nilikuamini wewe abai you are the head of all principality and power nimefika kwake dunia iko na principalities dunia iko na wachawi na manguvu nyingi sana lakini nimefika kwake ambao ndiye kichwa cha enzi yote i i don't need anything else Oh, wanao nikibisha should sit today nimefika kwake walio kwataka kuniua wanipate miguu mwake aliyesema sina akili anipate miguu mwake roho ilio kwataka kuniua na magonjwa ijue sasa nimeomba nikafika miguu mwake haleluya and that's why bible sema wakawaleta wote walio wagonjwa na waliopoza miguuni mwake na yakawaponya wote in jesus name amen something else that we should know kitu kimoja kinafanya tuwe complete in him one ni vile kristo alishida the last enemy biblia sema katika matthew 28 matthew 28 let me read that Uh, because sina na muda sasa wa kuongea sana hii masai imeenda kidogo Matthew 28 you know that scripture inasema hivi Mathayo 28 inasema hivi verse 18 Yesu akaja kwao Yesu akaja kwao na, nataka mjue hivi baada ya Yesu kukufa na akazikwa duniani yote kulikuwa na uvumi kwamba mwenye alifufua Lazaro yeye mwenyewe amekufa mwenye angeponya tumemzika kaburi yake ndio ile halo aliyesema yeye ndiye chia kwenda uzima that is his grave anaoza kule Now now uongo mmoja ulinenwa ni kwamba wanafunzi wake hello praise god haya ikawa hivi Kristo alipofufuka na jiwe likaondolewa malaika kalikalia walida kaburi you know leo nilikuwa naandika bulletin na nikawa naandika maneno machache ambao ilifanyika before Christ died one of the unique sign ni muke wa pilato Do you know wakati Kristo alipelekewa Pilato? Kitabu Pilato na case the wife came. Kaambia, mzee kuja. Jihadhari na huyu mtu. Kwa maana kuna doto yake imenisubua usiku. That man muachilie. Hello. The wife. The the wife. Kristo alipokuwa msalabani ukiangalia when Christ uttered the last word so he gave up his spirit akapea roho yake something has happened because you are saying three things in the book of Matthew one kaburi za watakatifu wa ganra kale zikafunguka na wakaonekana wakitembea Jerusalem that has, has a deep meaning pasia la hekaru likapasuka na kukawa giza na kukawa na ardhi quick wale walimudhi haki Yesu na kumchekelea soldiers wakasema hakika this man should be the son of god hallelujah alipofufuka bible sema kwamba 
soldiers walizimia na wakajua Kristo hayuko kaburini walipoenda kwa wakubwa wakawa bribed wakawa and then sikiza ni and then muambia watu wote wanafunzi walikuja usiku wakaiba maiti yake haya sikizeni the whole jerusalem ikajaa huo uongo that's why wanafunzi lazima gachificha because peter kitokea anaabwa petro tikafogera ke ile dhimo yakwa hata yako yake iba Inu, John agaba John kai mudhe na ndio naona uko mtu wa heshima yani unaiba maiti wewe kuna wengine wanasema hawa watu wa Yesu walikuwa naongozwa wanakuraga nyama za maiti inu it was kuri, kuri haribika walidakaburi walihongwa wakaabua please mukisema amefufuka kutata shida and then muambie watu wote wanafunzi walikuja wakaiba maiti maiti yake so disciples wakaokopa kutokea and when na mjue na msikize uungu huo ulikuwa so strong so strong kwa boli wa maliza akili hata wakati yesu alifufuka kuamini ilikuwa shida nisalimi yeni tu do you know waweza kuwa metabika sana mpaka unabiu kitolea husiki hushiki do you know unaweza kuwa umeonyeshwa aibu sana mpaka siku yako ya kutukuzwa na Mungu ikija haushiki Do you know ukweli wa taabu waweza upitia ukweli wa taabu mpaka kuamini muujiza is an issue Do you know unaweza pigwa picha dada uambiwe huna uterus upasuliwe pande hii wa shone pande hii wa haribu huku chini wasijua eka nini paka umepitia dieta operation dieta mara 20 kwamba ukweli wa hiyo taabu isuri kwamba kuamini kwamba uweza za reality ya kwamba uwezi za is so clear kwamba kuambiwa miracle is a problem I want to destroy that move of the devil by the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil make sure kwamba umetambika na mke wako. Paka any news from heaven unashidu hata kusipokea. Umepitia matusi mpaka furaha kwako ni shida disciples pigo waliopata it was so deep walimuona Yesu akizikwa wakaona jiwe limewekelewa na hapo kwa hiyo kaburi ni maiti ni maiti imewekwa sasa hivi sasa uvumi ni kwamba wameiba maiti it was too much now double double shame Bwana asifiwe sana. Asifiwe Yesu. Paka Mary Magdalene kuita John na Peter waone kaburi ko empty. Shida yako ilikuwa shida kuamini. But listen carefully. Jesus alipotokea Mary Magdalene akasema, "Eda abia wanafunzi, tukutane kalili." When Jesus appeared, he had to raise their faith kutoka chini sana. Kaabia now you people mimi mnaona hapa ndio mimi mliona nikipiga mishumari angalieni alama mimi ndio nilidungwa hapa angalieni mimi ndio nilishurubishwa na nikazikwa na mimi ndio niko hai bible inasema kwa siku 40 sema siku 40 kristo alikuwa anatoka anaambia <coughs> ni mimi nilishurubiwa na niko hai anaenda Atukata. ni mimi mliona nikizikwa na nimefufuka alafu naondoka for 40 days Kristo hakutokea umati alitokea hao hao waliokuwa wamejificha 
Hallelujah. Ana wakawabia hivi. Na sasa muzitafute pali pengine. Muliambiwa nime mliwekera maneno mabaya e, mimi mnaona mamlaka yote binguni na duniani nimepewa. Nisalimieni. Arama kasemaji na nyinyi ambao muko hapa nimewachagua muende na hayo mamlaka. Nyinyi ndio mumepewa kibali cha kuitanishwa na hayo mamlaka. Edeni naye na mkienda muna nguvu ya kubadilisha watu. Muna uwezo wa kusema pepo nyamaza iwatii. Muna uwezo Haleluya Mahali wengine wamefika mwisho Mahali guvu zikine azwezi fika Nyinyi mutafika na msaidia watu Kwa mwana mamlaka yote Ni mimi nikonae Mama yako alifika pahali Akawezwa Mulete alia na mamlaka yote Na muambie mimi na muakilisha huyu Alia na authority Hey, hey, hallelujah. You know, the other day I was talking in a phone. Nikabia mtu hivi. Nijipata kambia hivi. Mungu inaya mtumikia. Hunisikia. On a phone. The God I serve, he has me. Amen. Na nikambia, ukotayari yes. Katika Christo pokea kwa simu na akapona Mungu ni naye Mungu aliyenita akanifunulia mamlaka yote ndio wako naye pia alinichagua niakilishe hao mamlaka na akanichagua nikitumia mamlaka yake ataheshimu maneno yangu I say in the name of the Lord today I'm going to declare you appointed to represent the authority. Ha. Leo, Leo, I want to do something. Do you have faith? Muna imani? Yes. Ewe sameni kidogo. Do you know kama mwalala? Unajua, mko unajua usiku hizi ona watu hapa vizuri isipokuwa naona Pastor John. Tao sikize. Yeah, okay. So, praise the Lord. Nani you are Baba, ni uze. Ujio muzi tu tujua na baka mingi sana. Si nana sasa. Unamuka na na style. Hivi pole pole. Dio mujio na kamirika. Where? Unana wengine hapa zamani mulikuwa muna kuja vifuwa zira kaa wazi hivi. Sikuzi muna wa guwa jijui ishirini. Ukifugua muna kuta una furana hii na ingina na tishatibui dani. Na diyo pere nukuna tepea huku. Unatepea hivi kama isuzu. Kupe muna zeka. Gai. Pasa John. Unakubuka vile mulikuwa muna tepea hii bahati. Those days. Mukipa kirele. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Siku hizi Siku hizi unajaribu Lakini utaenda bahati ya chini ukirula Bishop Nipe manji, nipe grukos But God is so good Nafasi ya maisha hidi ya bakia yako Haita kuwa determined Na vile unazeeka Ita kuwa determined na mipaka Ya maono liyo nyeshwa I release that on your life. Na inaomba kuanzia sasa mungu wa kuonyeshe. Kile kime mbaki sasa. Kwa maana. Shetani ya mezoea kuongea na maumivu. Amezoea kuongea. Unapata homa ambo huelevi. Amezoea kuongea na watu wa uko. Amezoea kuongea. Na pigo li natoke na kuta huwa meaga, huwa meaga. Unawa kama utakufa. But from today, what you determine your life is the vision that God you release. Ali abia Joshua.
Joshua sikia kutoka Lebanon kwenda mpaka Iraq kwenda mpaka Mediterranean Sea mpaka jangwa ya chini hiyo inchi utagawia hao watu that is your project and in the name of Jesus Joshua hautakufa mbele utakufa baada ya maono I declare to you you will not die before you will die afterwards and every disease every power of witchcraft every power of antichrist haina nguvu juu yako because the lord has appeared to you and god has chosen you to represent his authority anasema mamlaka yote duniani bigo na mapewa na nasema ukionekana na mapepo ukionekana na watu wagonjwa wakubali wewe ndio umechaguliwa kuwakilisha haya mamlaka in jesus name in jesus name utamu niangalie na mtikize when jesus found disciples wamejificha kwa sababu ya uvumi unaoendelea wa kuwekelea wati waliba ma- maiti ya Yesu for 40 days alithibitisha kile mnaita maiti ni mokozi aliyeshida kifo for 40 days agatokea na kuna wakati agatokea bila kupitia kwa mlango anatokea tu hivi i'm the one who died mimi ndio niko hai nimeshida kifo haleluya Arafu siku ya 40 akapaa wakiona akawaambia nao akasema nataka kuwapatia formula to receive the authority mtapokea nguvu mtapokea nguvu roho mtakatifu akishuka juu yenu ndamsikize another thing that you make you great ni kuwa rafiki wa mwenye tuliachiwa you can know so many things but you need to be a friend of the holy spirit you need to give space to the holy spirit because the answer that christ gave he just gave holy spirit as the answer you shall receive power when when the holy ghost comes upon you peter had several questions Yeso Jesu Jesus utatupa baba simple answer holy spirit if the holy spirit is the answer he must be carrying a lot of things for me a lot of gifts for me hallelujah listen the first thing the holy spirit will do is to destroy shame Hmm. is to confirm you kwa maana mtamsikize hapa room ilikuwa pahali juu haya siku kuu ya pentecost wale wayahudi waliokuwa wamsulubisha Yesu na wale waliokuwa wanaeneza uvumi mbaya wote walijia hapo chini ya hapa room so the fire came in a way that they could see the fire come wakiwa wameka wanaogija siku kuu ya desturi walipata pale juu kuna nyumba ambaye kuna moto natoka juu ha, kuna upepo usio wa kawaida mahali kulikuwa na aibu hapo ndipo Yesu alianza na kuweka ishara yake el mashata babo saya rike masikataba wanafunzi wakiwa pale wale waliokuwa siku kuu ya pentecosto ya desturi ya yahudi wakaacha shughuli sasa wakaja kuangalia ishara pita aliyekuwa mnasema ni muoga wale watu ambao walisulubisha Yesu na wale aliyekuwa naogopa na wale waliokuwa wanauvumi ndio alimzunguka wote 
akawaambia mwenye mnisurubisha hageoza alifufuka within the kachache watu elfu tatu including wengi waliomsurubisha Yesu wakaokoka na wakawa washirika wa kwanza wa kanisa la kinapetelo Jesus do something I want to say to you friends wewe ambao kwa nyumba yenu umesegenywa na kuinukiwa I want to submit this to you from now as I stand here God will release a sign on you a sign on you that your brother anayekuchekelea atafuata your sister anaona una akili atafuata hey, hey. Muzazi aliyokuweka nyuma ya wengine atafuata and I want to announce by the word of God what water in humbilia na mekuja hii kesha the sign of upper room come upon you now ha mpaka yale mambo watu wanaongea sio na maana isaulike ishara ba bwana ataweka juu ya bishop na juu yako izidi mawazo ya uongo ya watu I want to make a prayer. And of that prayer nikitaka nikimaliza baada uandike pahali. Ina mkono juu. But the anointing of God from today Mungu amekuchagua. Peka mkono juu. Na Roho Mtakatifu ako juu yako. And from today obey the Holy Ghost. Wanafunzi waliabiwa watulie siku kumi hapa rumu walipoti nafasi ya bwana kutukuka ikaanza sikieni wachugaji na wachika mlio hapa kuna jabu holy spirit atakwambia after this meeting i say kuna jabu roho bwana atakwambia this meeting kuna possession roho bwana atakuweka after this meeting i say kuna possession roho bwana atakuweka after this meeting na ukiti ukiti kuna ishara bwana ataachilia itafanya watu wote aliogea uongo waliokupinga wanaodhi haki maisha yako wasahau yote wakibilie ishara iliyowekwa na roho wa bwana juu ya maisha yako na wengi watakufuata na imani yako. Wakati mkono juu. E Mungu ulie kwa madhabahu haya. Kwa utukufu wako na enzi yako. I obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Sheka tapa kasa. I obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. I obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Kwamba kila mtu aliamini usiku wa leo Mungu amemchagua 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 na kuna mahali roho mtakatifu atamuinua na kuna ishara inaachiliwa juu yako i say from tonight obey the holy spirit there's a sign coming on you there's a sign coming on you there's a sign coming on you huri pakata wachugaji there's a sign coming on you There's a sign descending on you. Abai tamaliza uongo wote ulio kwa hiyo estate unahubiri. Utamaliza kila uongo wa hayo ambaye nayo nayo humbili. Utamaliza kila mafundisho mabaya. Itamaliza kila habari ya uongo. Na masaka tapasa. Rima mosheka na basi kata. Na hiyo ishara itafanya kanisa ijaye watu ambao ni kundi la roho wa Bwana hawatakuwa washirika wako watakuwa kundi la roho mtakatifu and now my father the god of upper room the god of anointing release your sign on this man release your sign on this pastor release the sign of this brother release a sign on this altar in the name of jesus Jabu lingine hiyo ishara 
ilifanya watu wasahau ni Wayahudi ikafanya watu wasahau ni Masedukayo ikafanya watu wasahau ni Mafarisayo ikafanya watu wasahau wako na vyeo ikafanya watu wasahau kwamba walikuwa wanainukia mitume i say god does something that you cause all people around you to forget mambo mengine yote wakimbilie utukufu ishara upako hekima isiyo ya kawaida ambaye Mungu atakupa in jesus name na kwa maana Mungu amenisikia i announce to you you will not die kwa sababu wewe ni mtu ambaye Bwana ameachilia urithi Bwana ameachilia project na amesema utamalizia wapi na hapo ukimaliza ndio atakuchukua na kwa sababu hujaanza Bwana kuongeze nguvu Bwana kuongeze nguvu Bwana kuongeze nguvu Bwana kuongeze fema riba baba shakata rikeposa receive new strength for the revelation of your project Joshua alifikiria kwa sababu Musa amekufa ataritaya akaba Joshua not retiring your project is starting wengine hapo alifikiria because you are sick mother you are retiring no way your project is starting kwa sababu mume wako alikufa unaona kama watoto wako mtaangamia na wao no way your project is starting and there's a command saying arise cross over jordan arise cross over jordan arise cross over jordan arise cross over kwa maana mipaka ya nchi ya Botswana already Mungu ataiweka wazi kwa akili yako in the name of jesus nataka usikize na uniangalie na kwa maana kuanzia leo unaingia kwa project ya Mungu njia yako ya mapato na ya urithi iko na favor bereni bereni ulikuwa kupata pesa ni kilio kupata nafasi maishani unaungua karibu uishe but when god calls you na kuambia hii ndio urithi wako he will give you favor that's why Joshua yabwaje Joshua this is my formula either uchumi uko juu au uko chini this is my formula either shilingi iko juu au iko chini this is my formula popote nyayo za miguu yako zitakanyanga nimekupa uwe urithi Sasa niangalie. Na Mungu aondoe hadithi za kale. Mungu aondoe tu. Hata wanafunzi walikuwa wameumia kiwango kabisa hata ya kutoroka. But God said you're not running away. I'm appointing you for glory. You're not running away. Umefujika moyo mpaka karibu uombe msaada kwa maandui no way. God is starting away for you. In the name of Jesus. 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 You see now, Joshua alipoambiwa hivyo. Hapa you go. So utaenda na formula ambao it will never be affected by any change of the president in Kenya, any change of anything. God says that's a issue. And then number kitu kingine Mungu alisema ni hiki Do you know any time you are making an advanced move you are dealing with the enemy Nataka kuambia ukweli The moment Reverend Jeff umesema kanisa la Burongo litakuwa na watu 3000 Nataka msikize Kuna kitu amejua katika siri Let me train you Unanisikia? Israel ndio wakanyange walithi ndio wao waingie kugeondoka adui. Any place 
waliingia ilibidi adui aondoke wana walizi wewe ambao unaenda kufungua biashara kubwa there's an enemy that is vacating for the son of the kingdom to occupy hallelujah 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 na Mungu alisema wale watu wanakaa juu ya ahadi wanaonekana wana nguvu kuliko wana wa ufaume kwa maana wana wa Israeli wametoka jagwani na wanaokaa juu ya urithi wao wanakula maziwa na matunda but the truth is don't compare yourself with them don't worry about that manager na kutisha kwa maana ana ujuzi kuliko wewe Mwambie don't worry don't worry usijali hallelujah hata kama umetoka jangwani wewe ndiye mtoto wa ahadi in jesus name hata kama umetoka jangwani wewe ndiye mungu aliyapa zamani kwamba hichi hiyo ni yako hata kama hallelujah umemaliza tu mwendo mzito the truth is is not the way you appear but the promise you carry is no oh my kasha tapa is not the way people see me is the program of god concerning me in jesus name that's why joshua kabi wa hivi joshua as long as you live no man will be able to start before you you carry a promise of winning battles i said sio tu kukanyanga una ahadi ya kufaulu katika vita and god says watakao simama mbele yako atakupinge huo ndio utakuwa mwanzo wa kuisha kwao kwa maana unabeba ahadi nao sema no man atasimama mbele yako afaulu i declare that on you even now as i stand here mtu yote ambaye anakupinga because the promise imeanza sasa wameanza kuanguka chini they are retreating hey the god we serve is striking somebody with the fear the god we serve is striking somebody with the bloodness the god we serve amefanya watu kadhaa waliokuwa wanakuinukia wae mateka wako au sasa kipi uniangalie hivi wakati elisha just look, give me a minute wakati elisha kulitumwa adui na the king of Syria wamshike kwa sababu as long as he was alive Israel hawagepigwa kuna statement niambia watu wafikirie pastor dirango you know wakati elisha aliambua na gehazi huku nje kuna mafarasi na kuna adui wa kumuua elisha alisema hivi no people make mistake wanasema alisema hivi walio upande wetu hakusema ndio wengi kuliko wale don't make mistake alisema walio upande wetu dio wengi kuliko wale walio upande wa wale in other words elisha was not talking about the physical army that was there but the powers behind them he said walio upande wetu wanatuona mimi na gasi but what matters most is the army behind the physical the army behind the physical elisha wakati elisha alisema god open the eyes of my servant aliona jeshi kubwa linalowaka moto juu ya elisha may god prove that army hallelujah alipotoka kuangalia jeshi la seria elisha said please don't focus on them 
Because the battle will not be between me and them. The battle will be between those on my side and those on their side. Which means that they will be in the air between the ages of Jehovah and the ages of darkness. While you open the wall, pastors, don't worry. The issue is who is on your side? You could be Mutumoja Hivi, but with great army. Bishop Trimson and Nabia Kwamba Ari got Kuna Mwanamuke Adim Tokea Akua Meritaya. I come and be a bishop, I want to get saved. Kabi, who are you? I can be a tango once that could be a bishop, the power assignment of Kukua, but I failed to kill you. I can be a tell me one time you wanted to kill me. I can be a kitui, Mari Kwa Bridge through Gojea. Bukana Nani. To require view me via Giza, me and Billy. What happened at at what you do happen? What came on Gusha? Hakuna Muntu at a more caught a coffee apple. But a lipo Caribia could it okay? Jesse and Malaika El Futano. Arimambia Bishop, as you drove toward the bleach, there appeared a just of fire, five thousand. Na hatu kujua walitu marizaji. Na akasema, that's how God always fight for you, for your wife, and for your children. Na haka kubali, that's why your children, they always pass the exams, they do weddings, because the angels who fought for you, always fight for you, even for your family. Jesus, there's that group of age of fire. Take over this church. Take over this church. Huyu muschana wakanisa aonekana lonely. Wacha aze wibo wakusema walio upande wangu ni wengi kuliko walio upande wa wale. I'm not fighting this one. I'm fighting the army behind this person. Hallelujah! Alia nitusi, sina manano na yae. Lakini mwenye kumutuma nitusi, ataonana na wenye upande wangu. That's how God will use you, men of God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Atumaza yu ujube, ni kubwa, lakini this, it was prophetic. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Take over this church.